Welcome to Annals Animated. Our video will look at an important paper in the Annals of the American Thoracic Society. Here, we discuss Parameter D, New Measure of Airflow Obstruction, by researchers from the USA. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is diagnosed based on a low ratio of forced expiratory volume in the first second to forced vital capacity, or FEV1 over FEC. However, there is no consensus regarding these diagnostic thresholds, which are influenced by demographics such as age and sex. In this study, researchers developed diagnostic thresholds for parameter D, a new metric for the detection of airflow obstruction which quantifies the rate of rise of expiratory volume over time by analyzing data from three National Health and Nutrition Examination Surveys, NHANES, between 2007 and 2011, and UK Biobank. They found that only 9% and 3% of the variance in parameter D in NHANES and UK Biobank respectively could be explained by demographics. Moreover, an additional 10.8% of participants with airflow obstruction were identified through a parameter D threshold of negative 3.15, or the 75th percentile. The research team further identified four groups of subjects. Normals, D positive COPD, D negative COPD, and COPD based on concordance between the lower limit of normal or LLN for FEV1 over FEC and parameter D threshold. They found that compared to normals, D positive COPD subjects had worse structural lung disease and significant symptoms, a greater frequency of exacerbations, and higher mortality. Furthermore, 28% of D-positive COPD subjects progressed to COPD over 5 years, compared to 8% of normals by the conventional criteria. These findings confirm that parameter D is not affected by age, indicating its usefulness for the early identification of individuals with airflow obstruction. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Surya P. Bat and colleagues. Thank you for watching Annals Animated.